Monday, the real Christmas story. We bless the messy wonder of it all, the experience of being human. Mirror by Star. A lot of us have a profound conflict in our hearts about Christmas, how we celebrate Christmas, tell the stories of Christmas, and the facades that are put on in church and in the world just do not seem right. This rumbling in our souls is worth listening to. Human beings like a cleaner, neater story, theologies that fit into a box, and easy answers to complicated questions. We like staying in our comfort zones, boundaries to keep out the riffraff and to help maintain life on our terms. For the most part, humans like formulas. If I do this, believe this, act like this, then blank will happen. But we've all been around long enough to know that that is not real life. The real Christmas story isn't clean, neat, or tidy. It's a crazy, wild story. God, choosing to reveal himself in a human baby born to unwed parents in a dirty stall filled with animals and chaos. The least likely people are the ones drawn to him while royalty wants to kill him. The images we often see of the nativity look perfect and serene, with an adoring Mary gazing at Jesus while animals watched. Reality? It was smelly, noisy, bloody, and painful. Smelly, noisy, bloody, and painful. Kind of like a lot of our lives are right now, too. I have no idea where you are specifically, but I know my story right now is smelly, noisy in my head, bloody, and excruciatingly painful. Each day is a stretch to make it through, and in the midst of all of our pain is the pain of so many others in my circle. Losses, deaths, addictions, mental illness, despair, identity crises, homelessness, loneliness. It's a lot to hold. And we live in suburban comfort, most of us. The thought of a neat and tidy God is not only not comforting, it makes me want to run the other direction. But the thought of Jesus as a human being, all tangled up in the mess of real life and all the dynamics of pain, suffering, confusion, shame, exhaustion, and perseverance in the midst of these things, that's a story that draws me in.